James Malone is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for this video. I'm going to talk about my wine blog con experience in Santa Barbara. So stay tuned. So here I am. This is uh, the middle of July. What a fantastic month it's been. A very busy month and I've had uh, three consecutive weekends of travel. So I called it VidCon to Wine Blog Con. It's been a really great experience to uh, go through these weeks and uh, really go through things that I love. Video and wine. So uh, for me it's a fantastic experience to put foot on ground, right? Santa Barbara, a great place. So here, here's my badge from the Santa Barbara conference. So I'll uh, just bring this a little, little closer and these uh, stickers that say I tweet alumni and of course Twitterholic. I'm all of those, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but for me it's a great experience of uh, putting foot on ground because until you, you know, I have these great maps from Santa Barbara County and I'm really glad I have them. Absolutely gorgeous, wonderful. Uh, it's showing some great spatial relationships, but the spatial relationship that is important is the foot uh, you put on ground. And ultimately, when I was uh, at Zaka Mesa, for example, the vineyard site, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay, when I saw this on a, a piece of paper, two-dimensional piece of paper, I'm thinking, uh, this is so much more amazing, right? How could it not be? And uh, to be there uh, is really uh, absolutely uh, evocative, amazing experience. And something I thought, oh, this is just what I, what the doctor ordered. Um, yes, I do love my Northern California wine countries, but I definitely love uh, these beautiful Central Coast wine countries because I think they have a lot to offer. So I just have Santa Barbara County wines here because for me, it is uh, that, uh, you know, uh, really great experience. Uh, first of all, uh, quick stories here. One, Brander. This is the first Sauvignon Blanc I've ever tasted, not this particular bottle, but I had another bottle of Brander Sauvignon Blanc, so it's the first I've ever tasted this particular label. And uh, Brewer Clifton, huge fan of the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir program, and uh, really excited to have this. A great place to visit, I might add, and uh, superbly friendly staff here. Alma Rosa, I mean, Richard Sanford is a legend, and he's someone that I just think the world of. Uh, he did speak a bit at uh, Wine Blanc Con, and, uh, you know, he's just really, I, I would even go to the point of saying he's just somebody that, that I look up to. He is uh, just the most humble person. And uh, his story about wine is just this uh, most amazing story, uh, way that he talks about uh, his experience with wine, his experience in geography. I think he went to UC Berkeley and uh, how he came out of the Vietnam War and wanted to do something honest and pure. And wine is what he came up with. So I think that was a really great learning. And uh, Ken Brown uh, also spoke and here's his 2010 um, Pinot Noir as well. So these are really easy to visit. They're in Buellton. Uh, there's hotels there. It's near Solvang. Um, so it's really superbly uh, great to visit these uh, particular wineries and uh, the tasting rooms and uh, to taste these as well. Uh, for me, I think I walk away from uh, Wine Blanc Con uh, Santa Barbara as that eye-opening experience. I so, you know, one of the, the things I've learned about uh, Wine Blanc Con is you, you can never be too prepared. I didn't have enough packing tape. I didn't have enough you know, I, I bring, you know, 10 cameras and I forgot my 11th camera, actually not 11, I, I have three, uh, but I forgot my third camera, which is really important, it's my video camera. But it wasn't the end of the story, it kept going, and you have redundancy, and that's why I bring all these cameras, because in case I forget one, which I did, um, you know, it, it's a tremendous experience. First of all, one, was to really be there and in person and to meet people, to see the people I know, care about, and uh, really uh, look forward to seeing every single year if I don't see them more often. And uh, number two was to learn in any, uh, say my uh, VidCon experience was to learn patience uh, being around a lot of people. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of things that can derail that experience and you just gotta turn that in a different direction. So that was my uh, uh, water on a duck's back. It just rolled right off. Uh, and for me, I, I just come away from a, a really a fantastically glowing experience. I'm still not done digesting um, the, the, the beauty of this country, the beauty of the wine, the people, uh, the food is fantastic. Um, and the only way to experience again is, is to be there. Number three was I could come away with these beautiful wines and it makes me think, my mission in many ways is to bring wine to uh, the forefront of uh, you know having these available. Now, I, I can't find these in San Francisco, for example, or if I can, it's, it's a rare moment to do so. 
I live in San Francisco. That's not very far from Santa Barbara. Imagine those people like yourself who might be 3,000 miles away, if not further away, or many thousand of kilometers away. And, uh, you know, I think that's the irony, is that our wine culture, while we still have the best of wine times, right? I, I talk about that all the time. We have the best of, sometimes, the best of wine distribution times, that is availability. We don't have enough. And that is really the goal, is to get these wines on great shelves in San Francisco and around the world, because I think this, these are beautiful, gorgeous wines, really learned winemakers. And, uh, you know, what can I say about the, the terrain, the terroir, uh, the sites? They're fantastic. If it wasn't for the planet, we wouldn't have these sites. It's very, very simple. So I come away very excited. So stay tuned for more of this. Um, you know, I just love doing these weeklies because I think it really helps me to have a different, uh, you know, first of all, you get a different view of me, which is I'm talking about my thoughts. And um, often they encompass wine, sometimes they will not. Uh, but uh, stay tuned. This is my third. I, I missed last week, so I apologize for that. I was in the midst of travel. Uh, but more to come, so stay tuned. You'll find me on most social media, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and now I'm on most social media, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, and uh, finally Instagram. Yes, I'm back on, so uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Salud.